This video is about how the attention grabber can save you on the phone if you get caught off guard. <laughs> what you're going to walk away with is an understanding of how they can save you. So we talked about attention grabbers. The most effective attention grabbers are ones that are really short, you know, one sentence. Again, periods and commas are the enemies of effective attention grabbers. And again, attention grabber is not the elevator pitch. It's not the you know, 30 second blurb about what you do. It's literally meant to, when you say it, get the response, how do you do that? Or tell me more. So if you have a bunch of these, since they're so short, you can memorize them. All right? You can just kind of catalog them or you can print them out and put them in front of your phone. So and, and just in case you can read it um, and it won't sound that canned because it is so short. And here's an example. About two months ago, I was on the phone and I was making my cold calls and the secretary said, oh yeah, he's in a meeting. Um, let me put you through to his voicemail. So I'm like, all right, no problem. So I'm in voicemail mode and about two rings into this thing, the guy picks up the phone and I was like, ah, I would, and I, you know, I do this for a living and I was caught off guard and I was like, ah, oh, I'm sorry. You know, you caught me off guard here and he started to kind of, he's like, who is this? What is this all about? I'm like, I'm sorry. Your, your secretary said you were in a meeting. You know, I was about to leave you the best voicemail you ever got in your life, but you know, you picked it up and he goes, I'm sorry, what is this about? I was like, real quick, the reason for my call is we show our clients how to triple the results they get from their prospecting efforts in less than 45 minutes. And I was just wondering who I could talk to within your organization about some of your sales training and consulting needs. And he goes, he goes, it's funny. He goes, you know what? It's not me. It's you know my VP of sales. It's Bill. I feel free to give him a call. I said, great. Thank you very much. And I, and I hung up. Now, again, having that in my back pocket saved me. If I didn't have that in my back pocket or if I had uh, your typical elevator pitch, I would have droned through, uh, 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 I'm sorry, we do sales training consulting for Fortune 500 companies. I'm just wondering if I could talk to you about your sales training. And, and he probably would have just been like, uh, you know what, uh, why don't you send me information and follow up with me in a month. But instead, I had one ready to go and I was able to pull it out and kind of and save me. So needless to say, this is how the attention grabber can save you. We've all been there before. You're making your phone calls, you're droning through, you know, it's a Friday afternoon, you're 20, 30 dials in, you're not getting anywhere, and all of a sudden somebody picks up the phone and you're like, Bruh, and you freeze. <laughs> if you have some good attention grabbers ready to go and you've memorized them, they can save you. So the takeaways from this, come up with some attention grabbers. Memorize a couple of them, internalize them, and use them to save your ass when you get in trouble. Good luck and happy selling.